Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the 9 to 5 Warriors first series trading cards. Inside these trading cards, you get six Office Warfare cards. First series. This came to us from the folks over at 9 to 5 Warriors. I'm going to provide all the information down below. He's actually really done an awesome, I'll put it at the end of this video so you guys can have a look at it. He's done an incredible animated short, and that will be uh, of the 9 to 5 Warriors. Uh, on the back of the cards, choose your side the water cooler commandos commandos or versus the break room bandits as these two forces clash over total office domination collect the entire set of nine to five warrior cards I don't know if there's actually uh, gum in these cards but the really cool thing about it is he's put folks over at nine to five warriors have actually put ingredients for gum now you, if you look a little further it says dextrose corn syrup, gum base, sugar, artificial flavors and color erasers, pencils, wait a minute, tape, donuts, sprinkles, bread, lettuce, tomatoes, lead tape, paper clips, rubber bands, thumbtacks, potato chips, and most certainly contain nuts. That is a really nice touch. Speaking of nice touch too, these trading cards come in a wax pack. This card pack reminds me of the old 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 cards that we used to get back in the 80s and I love that so much it also kind of has that same feel like the old Bazooka Joe um, uh, gum packs which also contained comics inside as well uh, but needless to say uh, they sent me three packs so we're gonna have a look at those right now let's opening up the first pack here these have such a vintage feel to them. I love these all right, so let me just put that pack to the side. That is definitely going to go to Rosalita. That's going to go right there. And we've got ourselves. Look what's going on here. We got we got card number one, the first shift. It looks like a whole bunch of characters have been electrocuted with an energy container, perhaps. Flip it over. Let's find out more. A seemingly ordinary night at Macmillan's Plastic Company leads to the unordinary creation of our beloved 9 to 5 Warriors. When an employee accidentally spills an open Jinsei, Jinsei energy drink over a toppled trash can and surge protector, the Great Office War was initiated. Some characters down below there. Collect all 28 of the 9 to 5 Warriors first series trading cards. Um, also, I really like the fact that these are brown. They kind of got an old, um, like an old uh, a paper style, like a newsprint style card to it. Like an old cardboard style. I really love that. We got here, let's flip this around here. There we go. We got Am No Ferdy Gawk. Number 19. Our warriors fear that what's beyond the yellow lines of the great lot of parking, seizing any opportunity to discover new territories, even if it means using a shortcut or two. Scotchy is always up for the challenge, as he is a fan of heights, repelling, or anything that gets his heart rolling. Got ourselves here loud and clear, number 20. Looks like that is a container of nuts. Container of nuts. While Corporal Can typically isn't in the front line or isn't on the front line of battle, he still is a crucial piece of the commando unit. As a pacifist, he couldn't stand behind the bandits' regime. Uh, he left and now tracks their every movement with his nutty cohorts who act as his eyes and ears. Hmm. Actually, I did hear about that. I think one was assaulted. That. Did you see what I did there? All right, moving along. We got ourselves the Exterminators. Exterminators, number 21. On the back. What appeared to be an easy Sunday morning quickly turned into a scramble. Oh, I see what they did there. When Custard's Kitchen Experiment uh, marched into the commando base, Major Eraser and Lieutenant Led trying to hold them off until the rest of the reinforcements show up. 
fantastic anim uh, fantastic artwork as well on these. Uh, we got a splash zone. Splash zone. Don't let her appearances fool you. This beauty is a beast. A specialist Sugar's ability to shift into practically any objects make her Colonel Custard's go-to gal. With her by his side, the duo seem unstoppable. When the battle begins, the commandos better dissolve her fast. <laughs> Tip of my hat to you. Well played. And we got ourselves the toaster. These really remind me of uh, like the old 80s toy line as well. And actually, you know, speaking of which, they are going to be, uh, looks like 9 to 5 Warriors are also releasing uh, minifigures as well. So I'll let you guys, keep you guys posted for when those are released. Very cool though. I mean, the, the quality of card is a very thick cardboard. It's very well, well made. Uh, the toaster is in the break room band its only defense, or is the break room band its only defense against air combat capable of launching a fiery assault against water cooler commander aircraft? The makeshift controls don't make it the most accurate, but it's the explosive pastry shells are sure to pop your t your tarts. Love it. Here we go. That is the first pack. Let's open up the second pack here. Can you get these? I'll provide all the information down below if you guys are interested in checking these out. Release the hounds. They all look like they're paper uh, stapler removers. Staple removers. Release the hounds. Known simply as the retrievers, these supply seekers will shred and chop their way through anything to drive out commander for forces. No supply can get by their steel jaws and supreme sense of smell. They're the staple force of Bandit's front line. I could continue to say I see what they've done there, but uh, it looks like I'm probably going to be, I would be saying that a lot. There's the break room Bandit's right there. A ragtag bunch. Flip around on the back here. Emerging from the darkest corners of the waste bucket, Waste basket, excuse me, these supernatural leftovers are bent on office domination. Spreading fear and terror into cubicles after working hours, the bandits follow the evil Colonel Custard into war against the commandos. Where uh, Nowhere is safe from under your desk to inside the refrigerator. That's number three as well. We've got a copy of the first card we actually looked at. Freezer burn. Number seven. While heading to the commando's hidden freezer base, Fort Kenmore, Major Eraser finds himself in a not-so-sweet situation uh, head-on with an F5 twister. Only this isn't your normal tornado. It's an artificial sweetener's revenge. Artificial sweetener can be deadly. But a kiss can be deadlier if you mean it. All right, I had to throw that in there. Uh, BLT, big load of trouble. That BLT looks like he is gone bad. I mean, like, the condition of him. He looks like he's gone bad. Uh, rising from the bottom of the trash comes Sergeant Spore, the brute force behind the bandits. His super strength helps them get the most jobs done with ease, enforcing Custard's uh, every demand without question. Okay, maybe a few questions after all. His brain is half rotten. That is to say the least. And Liquid Courage. I think this is the pre-card to those eggs. Those eggs got in, were a handful. The Dirty Dozen, so to speak. Oh, I had to throw one in there as well. You're welcome. They can use that if they want. Whenever Custard gets his hands on Jinsei uh, Energy Drink, the drink that started it all, he brings to life a new cadet, ready to rid the office of supplies and continue the push for total office domination. No place is safe from under your desk to inside the refrigerator. You monster. That was number 11, by the way. And lastly, the last pack of the 9 to 5 Warriors Wax Pack Trading Cards. We got ourselves Explosives Explosions Specialist. On the back. As the comic relief, comedic relief of the group, uh, Brigadier Bounce E 
doesn't usually get the respect he deserves. Sure, he might sound off an alarm or two with his his belches, but he's always the first into and last to leave a battle, usually followed by a big boom. Is that a elastic band ball? I tried doing one of those. It never worked. I put it together, and then it ended up somewhere, and I had to start again. Crisper Crawlers. That banana has no appeal whatsoever. Point for me. Uh, Hellbent on office domination. The bandits are always looking for a few abominations to create. During a recent refrigerator raid, Sergeant Spore stumbles across the forgotten crisper drawer and leads to a legion of moldy, rotten to the core subordinates directly to the commando's front door. This is a good example of sometimes what Spot's fridge looks like. I leave stuff. It's not a pleasant sight at all. Hourly Rage. When the commandos convoy, oh, sorry, when when commandos convoy makes it makes its way into a cubicle, their Pratera tank, Printer tank, runs low on ink. Commodore Chris seizes the opportunity by taking the high ground. Unfortunately for the commandos, once he pops, he can't stop. I think he's potato chips. You see, you see what they've done there. Another picture of the. Oh wait, no, this is the winter cooler commandos. The water cooler commandos. I don't know. Spot's eyes. I get some glasses. Led by the fearless major eraser, these anthropomor anthropomorphic office supplies will stop at nothing to defeat the evil break room bandits. Birthed in a pool of electrified foreign energy drink, these unlikely heroes have risen from the trash to rid your office of rotten food and evil doers. All the more reason as well. You shouldn't be drinking a lot of energy drinks either. Unless maybe you want to look like these guys right here. We've got ourselves here. Battle Rat. Number 27. Along with using any supplies and equipment around the office, the 9 to 5 warriors are just as crafty when it comes to the livestock that surrounds them. You notice they put livestock in quotations. This little guy can nibble his way through steel pipes and quickly access, access areas that no other vehicle can. Lastly, Wise Grand Maxter. Maybe he is the, um, oh, the Power Rangers guy. I can't remember his name. I just drew an absolute blank. I don't know. Plugged into this, uh, into the very surge protector whose spark ignited a war is Maxter. Although mostly forgotten, the 11th creation acts as a mentor to the water cooler commandos. After all, being connected to the world wide web makes him the brightest display on the desk. Zordon. Thank you, Zordon. Forever shouted Zordon. It was somebody, somebody behind me. Maybe it came from the black hole. Thank you, black hole. Thank you, Zordon. Thank you. Very cool, though. This reminds me of the computers that I used to use in school. But very, very cool cards. The quality is, is uh, phenomenal on these. They have a vintage look, also as an 80s kid myself. That, uh, that hits a home run with me. Spot will provide all the information down below. So if you are interested in checking out the 9 to 5 Warriors... Picking up some of these trading cards as well, and certainly following the adventures of the 9 to 5 Warriors, definitely click those links down below. Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the 9 to 5 Warriors Wax Pack trading cards. And stay tuned, spot's going to have more collectible spots heading your way. Thanks for watching. See you next time.